It's the first rest stop on your wealth creation highway. So what happens? You know, if an entrepreneur thinks of selling a business as one and done, so they, they sell their company to me, I give them a wheelbarrow full of gold. They take it, they go home. You know, they, 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 and now they think, what do I do now? What do I do next? What's the next thing I can create? But they're going back to zero. And maybe they've had some success. And so as a result of that, maybe they're more programmed for, for future success. But I got to recreate the wheel. And I tell people, you just spent 10 years, 20 years building a great business. Why think of it as being done? Let's look at it as, a, as, a, as an exercise in asset diversification and keep on running that business. Now do it as a minority shareholder and, you know, and let's build it with other people's money, institutional capital, where I can grow faster, I can accelerate the pace of growth, and then let's sell it again. And when they leave and another party comes in, I could roll over again and I could do it a third time. My personal record's five paydays, one company, 13 years. And, and so a lot of people, you know, I call it the accidental arrogance of success. So entrepreneurs who are successful, are, are they beat the odds. Only 7% of companies in the U.S. of those 33 million small companies ever get to a million of revenue.